of the things that we've learned in our journey is that um, our educators are actually doing a very good job of providing tier one, tier two, and tier three supports, and they didn't necessarily know that that's what they were doing. And so in, in retrospect, I think many of our educators thought they had to go out and create something new, something different, something innovative, and something unique, when in fact they already had a lot of good supports, a lot of, of really wonderful and responsive services available for students, any student that was struggling. And so one of the things that we had to do was to kind of help them to, to kind of retool and repackage what they were already doing so that they recognize we're not asking you to go add something else to your plate. We're really asking you to think about how are the interventions that you have in place, are they responsive to the needs of all of our students? And so I think that's what we really needed to do with our administrators and with our teaching staff is to help them to understand that what they're already doing falls into the model that we're advocating for and that it's still just a framework. Um, it's not a recipe, it's a, it's a framework for how we think about providing supports for our families. And when we've been able to do that, it's been exciting to hear principals and teachers having discussions with families about, well, you know, at the tier one level, we do A, B, C, or D, and, and if your student needs more than that, then at the tier two, here's some examples of what we do in our building. And they're, um, they're very responsive and they're becoming much more articulate in their abilities to explain um, what they offer within their schools. And I think that there's a level of comfort that might not have been there three, four, five years ago in having some of the same conversations.